Hello and welcome. Today I'll be unboxing the single turbo kit from On3 Performance. So I got this kit from Complex 7. Uh, it is an On3 Performance turbo kit, but Complex 7 also sells it at a cheaper price. And it usually takes like about five business days to get it shipped here if they have it in stock. Mine was on back order, so it took like about two weeks to come. So uh, I'm still waiting on the turbo, but I got the rest of the, of the whole kit itself, the waste kit and all the hot side and fittings and stuff. So yeah, so let's get it. So uh, this is a downpipe has a v-band on this side and uh wants place for your o2 sensor and the other side ha connects to your stock exhaust or your cap bag exhaust whatever you have uh, as long as it has two outlets coming out of it you also got your o2s here and also one uh block i'll play it if you do want to remove two sensors I'm guessing this is the dump tube that goes to your wastegate. Yeah, so it's basic V band. On this side, walls it all the way down. You got a little elbow right here. You just have it pointing down. Let's get to the manifold. Yeah, so it's basically a two-piece manifold and it comes with a V-band that just mounts right down in the middle. So let me just put that to the side. Okay, so I finally got it open and it came with two oops, hose clamps that go right into the drain. And we got the oil drain that goes into the block. This is the return side. This is the oil return that fits right onto the bottom of the turbo. I'm guessing. We'll just lay that to the side here. We got some block off plugs for the coolant lines and the rest of the so they already have o-rings in them, so you don't actually have to go like go out to FCP or and go buy yourself a set of o-rings. You save money on that. Another one of the drains. And this is the oil feed fitting. It just screws onto the oil feed line on the side. This goes to the block. And then this screws into the turbo. Yeah. So let me just lay that to the side. Let me 
power steering reservoir. I'm not sure what does it, where this mounts. I think this will be useful for the coolant relocation because you do have to move your expansion tank. Uh, you have to get a 335D expansion tank that mounts to the left side. Uh, I do also have that, so I'll show you how that looks like too. So, okay, so this is the wastegate. It's a optional thing you can buy with the kit, but you can either get like a precision or other turbo smart wastegates. I went with the on three because I read the reviews online and they said they were decent as long as you rebuild them. So uh, it does come with some springs and some banjo fittings for the vacuum lines. You got some uppers that go from the turbo to the air cooler. So, got the pipe, uppers. decent quality they will hold boost okay so complex 7 sent some stickers along with the kit and the lanyard so a shout out to them for getting the kit out to me on time i'm still waiting on the turbo we're going to do a separate unboxing for the turbo and we're just going to mount it uh it should be coming about january ish uh, again, this isn't normal. It's just, it's just the end of the year and they just ran out of stock, so we're just, they're just restocking. Uh, I did get the 61 millimeter on three turbo with the GT, it's a GT35 with the JB compressor wheel. So, hoping to make big power with that. Okay, so these are all the post plants, B band plants. That's for all the turbo piping. Going to the side. And these are the V bands, I'm guessing for the downpipe, the turbo to the downpipe. right in tightens up for this turbo kit you will have to relocate your expansion tank so this stuff isn't included with the kit so I bought this from eBay or Amazon you can get it from like Lowe's or Home Depot or your, your local auto parts store so I bought a combination of uh, three fourths heater hose, half inch heater hose, and five eighth heater hose. And along with these brass fittings, I got from Amazon. Uh, this is a five eighth uh, elbows you'll need and a half inch adapter for the hoses. And you will need some hose clamps. Uh, you can, I'm just gonna grab them from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna grab a kit from Harbor Freight. Uh, and let's get to the expansion tank. I got this from eBay for about $63. And you can see how it just mirrors to the other side of the car and mounts right into the frame. Uh, you can make a custom mount, but I prefer just to keep it a little stock, give it a little stock look. So it just mounts to the other side of the car. And let me just show you the other stuff you will need. So I got some titanium heat wrap. It comes with all the metal zip ties for the downpipe and the manifold. I got two rolls, so that's about 50 feet. Also got myself some gold tape. 
turbo manifold. Uh, it didn't come with the springs, so I might have to look online to get the springs. And I bought this little aluminized sleeve for the drain, the turbo drain, so it doesn't just melt off because of the heat. And also got this uh, sleeve. Uh, I'll see which one works better for me. I just bought two just in case. So I will be using a MHT setup. Uh, if you have JB4, you actually don't need this. So I got this Motive boost box from Motive Motorsports. So this connects right into your uh, stock blue solenoid connector. And then it connects right into the max solenoid. Uh, the max solenoid already comes with the fittings. I also got this from Motive. And you will need some fittings for the vacuum lines. I, uh, I'm gonna be using one fourth uh, vacuum line. And you will also have to drill into your turbo housing and tap this fitting in uh, for the vacuum lines. Uh, I will show you later on what tools to use for this. And let's move on to the gaskets and stuff you will need. Okay, you will need different manifold bolts. Uh, you can use the long ones, but it'll be just harder to tighten those. So I got these uh, different style BMW manifold bolts along with a water pipe gasket. Uh, also, you also will need uh, exhaust manifold gaskets. Uh, I already used these once uh, while I was mounting the twin turbos and I just took them off so uh, I'll just be reusing these. Uh, I will be also walnut blasting so I am going to change the throttle body, throttle body gasket and the intake manifold gaskets and of course you will need some BMW coolant. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Uh, I hope to get this kit in soon, and I will keep you guys updated. Peace.